Hi everybody, this is Sheila Dunn from Personal Touch Fitness and I wanted to do a short video today here with my green smoothie and protein powder just to tell you a little bit about how to set up your home gym, especially in light of what we're going through right now. I have been personal training uh, for since 1995. I had a studio and now I'm in light of this virus, I am doing clients through video chat. Um, so in order to get your home video, your home gym ready so that I can work with you, if you'd like, via video, we, if you don't have weights, not to worry. There are many different variations of bands. I personally like to use these, what are called Dyna bands because they're soft and flexible and you can do many different types of exercises with them. And when you're using this, you have resistance as you pull in and also on the return. So eccentric and eccentric, you have resistance. If you have a latex allergy, they have latex free bands, which I'm showing an example of here, easily purchased online as well. All of my equipment is from power systems usually because I find it's a good quality equipment. Um, so there are different variations. These are actually different lengths and different heavy uh, resistance. This starts with medium, heavy, and extra heavy. Um, they also have light. Something that is great for, for stretching out is called a yoga band. And I have a couple of different variations of this, but just to give you an idea, when you are stretching, if you don't have your trainer available to stretch you out, you can use the resistance of this band to pull it in any direction. And it serves to get you into the stretch more. You might want to start out with some light to medium sized dumbbells for women. I suggest three pounds all the way up to 15 pound dumbbells. I don't have all of my dumbbells out. Another um, really versatile piece of equipment is the Pilates ring. You can use it for upper body strength. You can use it in lower body exercises and you can pull or push. So there's a lot of variation with this. Um, I recommend the Challenge Pro weighted bars. Again, a very versatile piece of equipment. This one's 18 pounds, but they start at six pounds and go up. You can do your shoulder presses, your good mornings, bringing them down and up. Just a great multi-muscle, all-body exercise piece of equipment. In the same way, they make them a little smaller, if you'd like, for different types of exercises and expandable. All of this can be found on the web. Another home equipment that I like to use a lot is called the Wave and this comes with the video but it's very useful for the type of training that I do because I use a lot of personal um, balance training and personal training. So again, if you don't have a balance board, this can serve as a balance board. You can do squats, you can do lunges, and you can do something cardio on it because you move it fast. You can jump on it and jump off of it. You can turn the piece around. So this is like a really versatile piece of equipment. You can step over, jump, use it kind of like a step. Remember the step classes from the 80s and 90s? But the core of the workout that I do with everybody is the ball. So I like to use TheraBand balls because if you're going to get a ball at five below, it's not going to be a good ball for doing strength training. Um, you need a ball that's heavy enough and the balls vary by size. And I'm going to do another video about the balls, but basically depending on your height, you would get the right size ball. So I am 5'4". I'm using a 55 uh, millimeter ball, 55 millimeter or centimeter. And your, um, the ball has to be pumped up enough so that 
You can use it for balance training, but you're not going to sink into it. So there's all little very variations and caveats with the ball, but you can do so many things on the ball. I will get into the ball a little bit more in another video and you might want to have a cardio machine in your house. This is an old clunker. It's actually a Nordic track elliptical. It's all manual, no electronic, very hardcore, old school. Got it for $75 at a yard sale, but I love it. And I've been using it for about 15 years and probably the previous owner used it for 20 years, but it's sturdy. When I train people at home, I like to show them what muscle groups they're using. So sometimes we do refer to the muscle chart, which I love to have. And I think that's it. So you can pretty much, oh yes. And also keep track of your workouts with a chart. I have the whole workout here by body part and I chart everything out indicating the weight and the number of reps and the number of sets. So this is really important because you wanna show your progression. You wanna track your progression in strength training and you wanna be able to see it on paper. So again, tracking the number of repetitions, the number of sets and the weight that you're using. I think that's it, thank you.